If there is to be growth, you must be able to live your true life, to be who you are, to be able to fly and show off your talents. And your true partner will celebrate that, not be intimidated by it. Nowadays, uh, because of COVID and even before COVID, many of us were faced with life's difficulties because it is life. So we have bills to pay and relationship issues and children issues. And, but with COVID, what we had and the existing challenges have ramped up exponentially for many, many families. Several families are experiencing what's known as flooding, which is this being bombarded with stresses from all different areas. So it's almost like you, you can't catch your breath. You're, 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 you're in this swirling vortex of stress and everybody is on edge. So the fear part of our brain, that amygdala is constantly being triggered, 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 triggered. So we're reactive. So fight, flight, or freeze. So freeze, we don't know what to do. Flight, we try to avoid a fight. And so we've talked about caring for our children and being able to draw boundaries, but drawing boundaries between adults it's very important. So whether you're talking about multi-generational boundaries as, or sibling boundaries, boundaries between friends, or boundaries between partners, boundaries are still very, very important because again, it draws the line. It keeps us safe. In the Caribbean, women, to some degree men, have been highly objectified. And to some degree, dehumanized as well. So when these toxic situations arise, people, children, people, men too, are seen as property. There's a sense of ownership and control versus being able to love one another and respect one another and and to celebrate one another. If there is to be growth, you must be able to live your true life, to be who you are, to be able to fly and show off your talents. And your true partner will celebrate that, not be intimidated by it. You have to be able to feel co competent and have a partner who says, yes, you are, and how can I help you and lend support? Each person must be 100% committed. If you have an imbalance where one person's carrying the load, it's not going to last because it'll become too burdensome. It will become, it'll, it'll become unbalanced. There won't be that beautiful synchronicity between the two souls. They will no longer be able to do that beautiful dance where they revolve around each other with admiration and love. Instead, it becomes a sinking, heavy, burdensome feeling. Adults can develop a growth mindset, even though it was something, at, depending on when you were born, we weren't necessarily raised with. Because of the research, there's a lot of talk about that for children. But for adults, it has to come to one, Centering yourself in your values. You have the internal locus of control and the external locus of control. So the internal locus of control grounds you in your values, in your choices and the decisions that you make for yourself. External locus of control, is, it's, it happens when you make your choices based on someone else. So if someone else is displeased with you, okay, well you make the choice, not because this is what you want, but because of fear of losing. So we make the choice. Either we go and proceed in life with a growth mindset where we train our skills, where we work hard, we notice our competencies, we learn from our mistakes, we develop a sense of grit, 
which is a passion for learning, which is um, your resilience, courage to face the fears. We go forth or we stagnate with a limited, inflexible or fixed mindset. But remember, the choice is always yours. Number one, ensure safety for self. Number two, ensure that you honor yourself first. Because if you don't honor you, how can you expect there to be a gauge for other people to honor you? Because if you know what you expect for yourself, that you are a human being with human rights and dignity, then that will set the presence for anybody who comes. But if you think low about yourself and you have these negative thoughts about yourself ruminating, then you're vulnerable to people who will take advantage of that. It's okay to have a partner who loves you, who cherishes you, protects you, but it must be that you also love and cherish and protect in an equal way.